How's it going everyone? It's Avi from Weather Spongebob Thousand and in this video we're going to focus on this next Christmas snowstorm that's expected to bring major snowfall over large areas of the Midwest. So let's get right into it. But first talking about how this snowstorm will form and um, this and how it will affect each state within the Midwest. So let's first begin um, with the GFS model and moving forward with the forecast. I'm going to first start my forecast with Nebraska. So we do have have the slow pressure system coming off the California coast now moving ashore bringing rain showers over Arizona and New Mexico and some snow showers in the higher elevations of Arizona so if you're hoping to maybe see some snow this Christmas the higher elevations of Arizona are your best bet if you maybe live around the Phoenix area so you definitely um, want to be aware of that if you want to see snowfall right around the Arizona area and same goes for New Mexico in the higher elevations that's where you should see some snowfall so if you're hoping for snow this winter that's the place to go in New Mexico and we do have some snow showers uh, moving through Idaho and Montana but eventually this should approach Nebraska and take a look at the forecast for Nebraska so we do see that by the late portion of tomorrow on Saturday December 23rd it will be relatively dry but this storm system will continue to intensify as this continues ahead further northward because we do see the cold air just to the west of this storm isn't even there yet to enhance the instability and the convective activity but we soon see that in nebraska for a lot of areas it'll begin as a rain event since the slow pressure system is just to the west of you guys you're going to see a stronger suddenly flow that'll make it too warm at least initially for some snowfall so the early part of december 24th you should expect mainly rain showers and in terms of how bad this storm will impact you guys it'll be the the impacts will be the worst right around the northeastern portion of the state but moving forward with forecast expect a heavier amount of rainfall right over Omaha and eastern portions of Nebraska heavy snowfall however on the western side and this heavy snowfall will develop relatively early and um, you might be thinking, well, then this, um, okay, so we need to worry about this low pressure system, but after this, it'll be over this storm system, right? Well, that's not going to be the case because there's going to be another low just to the south of this low pressure system that's going to intensify and that's actually going to be the main snowstorm that will bring the heaviest amount of snowfall right over Nebraska. So we do see the rain will eventually move out by the late portion of Christmas Eve going into the overnight hours on Christmas Day and we do see that another low develops on the southern side of this band of rainfall and that's where you're going to see the heaviest snowfall in Nebraska. So Moving forward with forecast, the storm system continues to intensify, and we do see that by the early portion of December 25th, um, we do see a pretty large area of snowfall right over Omaha and overall the eastern portion of Nebraska. And the thing is, is that while this area of snow might not necessarily dump a heavy amount of snow in of it itself, it still um, it um, could be um, this storm is expected to linger around long enough to prolong the period of snowfall right over northeastern Nebraska where we do see there's going to be sort of a negative tilt with the jet stream which means that the ridge is going to be just uh, north of it the northeast of this storm system and block it from moving away so right around the mid um the morning time on Christmas going into um even December 26 the snowfall is still going to be right over Nebraska which could bring anywhere from um 6 to 12 inches of snowfall to potentially more than that in some localized areas in Nebraska at least eastern Nebraska so Omaha you need to pay very close attention to this and pretty much the um, like I said the eastern half of Nebraska that's where you should experience the worst of snowfall the western half um, won't experience the worst of the snowfall as it seems like this storm system is going to be a little bit too far to the east um, for um, western Nebraska to experience at least major snowfall beyond this area of snow you're going to see here which still could dump a heavy amount of snowfall potentially around three to six inches of snowfall right around um, western Nebraska but it won't be as significant as this snowstorm which could easily dump six to twelve inches over Omaha and surrounding areas in eastern Nebraska but it it should eventually end right around the early part of December 27th, the late um, to the late portion of December 26th. That's when this storm should be stabilized and it should be mainly cloudy over Nebraska. 
So in terms of the timing, expect your first heaviest snowfall in eastern Nebraska early on Christmas Day. And then it should end right around December 26th and expect anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snowfall. Taking a look at the current snowfall forecast for Nebraska for um, the GF, um, from the GFS model, we do see that. Um, you could expect, like I said, anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snowfall right over eastern um, Nebraska. Omaha is right around, um, six, um, you should expect around 6 inches of snowfall. And then going a little bit further um, westward, we do see um, Nebraska, western Nebraska should experience maybe three to six inches, but there's certainly a heavy amount of snowfall. Now, let's shift our forecast a little bit further northward into um, South Dakota, where I believe will be the worst, um, where you'll experience the worst of the snowfall. So moving forward with the forecast, we should see the storm system um, bring rainfall as early as um, Christmas Eve, right around the overnight hours on Christmas Eve. And we should see that transition into snowfall right around um, the midday um, on Christmas Eve um, for the central portion of South Dakota, while the eastern portion, it'll primarily be a rain event before eventually the snowfall will end right around um, the evening of Christmas Eve. But like I said, this second snowstorm will be the main catalyst in bringing a heavy amount of snowfall over South Dakota. Now, now moving forward with the forecast, we should see the heavy snowfall approach um, South Dakota a little a lot later than what the um, um than what you should expect um for Nebraska, where but right around the midday to early evening time on um on um Christmas Day, that's where the uh, heaviest snowfall should occur for South Dakota, and it should be very prolonged. This storm, this low pressure system will stay over the same area for several hours, and the certainty is high with this storm system. There could be that possibility that maybe the slow moves a little bit further um, um, westward to where it'll bring just enough warm air to the border of South Dakota to maybe get some mixing um, when it comes to sleet as well as rainfall, which could limit the snowfall right up along the immediate border of South Dakota. But I expect... Um, so you definitely need to pay close attention to that right up along the border if you live in that location in South Dakota. But for the most part, I do expect that South Dakota, eastern and central South Dakota will experience 6 to 12 inches of snowfall to potentially over a foot of snowfall in localized areas. And moving forward with the forecast, like I said, this will stay over for a very prolonged period all day. December 26th for eastern and central South Dakota expect snowfall before it eventually lightens down by the time we approach the morning time on December 27th once this storm destabilizes so between midday on Christmas Day to the early morning on December 27th that's where you should expect the heaviest snowfall where anywhere between 6 to 12 to over a foot of snow um, should be expected um, right over eastern um, South Dakota so I'm taking a look at the forecast right now the GFS model is expecting well over a foot of snow keep in mind this is assuming one inch of rain equates to 10 inches of snowfall so it might not necessarily be the um correct um um, uh, um ratio because every snowstorm is different the temperature contrast is different with every snowfall um snowstorm and every um snowflake um could contain a different level of moisture within it so it might not ne necessarily be this exact ratio and plus is only measuring the amount of snowfall that falls from the sky and not the amount of snowfall that actually accumulates on the surface so it should be slightly less than what you see here but still you should expect over a foot of snow in a lot of these areas. And then for the border, maybe closer to um, 6 to 10 inches of snowfall. Thanks to the fact that I do believe some rainfall will intrude the eastern the border of South Dakota. But it still will be enough to bring a major snowstorm. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, let's move our forecast even further northward and eastward to Minnesota and North Dakota. So um, for those areas, it shouldn't impact you guys as hard so continuing to move forward we do see that the rain should move into the western portion of minnesota and the southeastern portion of north dakota by the time we approach the overnight hours on christmas eve and it should primarily start as a rain event the southerly flow is going to be quite strong so you should expect temperatures right around the 40s um and cold uh, very cold rainfall for much of western minnesota we do see minneapolis is out of the woods for christmas eve at least the early portion um but it the rain should eventually move towards you guys 
by the evening of Christmas Eve into the overnight hours on Christmas, but it should entirely be a rain event um, for Minneapolis for the most part. So if you're hoping for snowfall, unfortunately, it's unlikely to happen with this storm system for Minnesota, as it seems like the, um, these two low pressure systems will be a little bit too far to the west. But nevertheless, um, northwestern um, Minnesota, at least for this um, storm system as well as the southeastern portion of North Dakota, should expect around a moderate amount of snow. So far, this area of snow could dump anywhere between 1 to 3 to 3 to 6 inches of snowfall. So definitely keep that in mind. And moving forward, this, like I said, this second um, low will be the main snowstorm you have to worry about for much of the Midwest. And we do see that um, the um, first bouts of precipitation should move in right around the midday on Christmas, although it'll be raining for the most part for southeastern Minnesota. Um, but for Minneapolis, we should see the rainfall return right around the midday on Christmas. And moving forward, it should be quite heavy rain as well for much of Minneapolis. Heavy snowfall um, should approach the southeastern portion of North Dakota right around um, the, the early portion of December 26th, there could be a little bit of mixing. It's going to be very key to pay close attention to how the trajectory shifts over the next few days because if it um changes a little um its trajectory a little bit further to the west and that would mean that a little bit more rain would intrude the southeastern portion of North Dakota and it should last um pretty much from the early morning of Christmas um of the Boxing Day which is December 26 um up till the late part of December um 27th um so you should expect right in southeastern um North Dakota around um, six, um, around three to six inches so far, not as much, um, because uh, per um, the period of snowfall won't be as prolonged, but still something to be aware of. And for northeastern um, Minnesota, the forecast is a little bit um, more uncertain for you guys as well, because there could be a little bit more of a rain and mixing intrusion. But you should expect anywhere from one to three inches of snowfall for northern Minnesota from this storm system. But the heaviest snowfall will be concentrated a little bit further westward, and it will be a little bit quarter to allow for more snowfall um in right around south dakota and nebraska at least compared to northern minnesota so definitely keep that in mind in those areas now for a quick summary for the other uh, midwest areas so for much of the great lakes region it should primarily be a rain event as it seems like the ridging is going to be a little bit too strong for many areas in the great lakes region to experience much of any snowfall chicago entirely a rain event um for the chicago area and Illinois in general, you should expect the rainfall to move in right around December 25th. And it should last um, pretty much till the beginning of December 27th, where we should see the temperatures cool down below average. Now, um, for other areas such as Michigan, Indiana, um, Ohio, it should be a fairly similar forecast. Just rainfall for you guys. And it, the temperatures should be much above average. Taking a look at the overall um, temperature anomalies for a lot of these areas. So if we were to take a look at that, let me just find it real quick. Um, it should be somewhere around here. So here's the temperature anomaly. And we do see for much of the um, United States for Christmas, it should be much warmer than average, anywhere between 10 to 20 degrees above average in, in some areas, even warmer than that. Um, so definitely um, be prepared for um, a warmer Christmas this year. Might be unfortunate for those hoping for a white Christmas in portions of the Great Lakes and Northeast. But at, but at the same time, a warm Christmas is also very welcome for many people. So definitely enjoy Enjoy it while you can because this winter is very cold much of the time. But now moving on to the northeast when it comes to this um, current snowstorm. So when it comes to the northeast, um, like many snowstorms we've been seeing over pretty much over the past year, this should primarily bring snowfall to the higher elevations and right up along the Great Lakes region where you should expect a lake effect snow event. And um, for the northeast, this um, Christmas week, you should expect the rainfall to move in um, to Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey right around December 27th. And it should dump maybe around a half an inch of rain, not a huge rainmaker. But on the backside, there could be some snowfall um, when it comes to lake effect snow, um, when, um, where um, for upstate New York and Pennsylvania, you should expect lake effect snow right around the, but anywhere between December 29th and December 30th for those areas. So make sure to prepare 
prepare and you should expect anywhere between one to three inches of snowfall taking a quick look at the current snowfall forecast um overall for the g um from the gfs model um we do see the gfs model is forecasting um a large area of three to six inches of snowfall for the higher elevations of the interior northeast and the great lakes region could experience more than that potentially over a foot of snow in localized areas and same goes for the higher elevations of west virginia you could experience um you could see a small area where the snowfall will be over six inches and the snowfall like i said should happen anywhere between December 29th to the 30th as we approach a new year. So let me prepare for that in those areas. And we could potentially see a major snow event for Maine as well. When it comes to the European models forecast, it's very similar. So this is the reason why I'm very confident with this forecast with this um, specific snowstorm because it's almost completely identical to what the GFS model is currently forecasting. We do see a large area of 6 to 12 inches of snowfall for South Dakota, um, North Dakota, um, portions of Nebraska, and we do see a small area of 3 to 6 and 1 to 3 inches of snowfall right around northern Minnesota, but the worst of snowfall of course should happen in the Midwest. Now, before I end the video, I want to go a little bit more in detail regarding a potential snow pattern that could develop in right up along the east coast of the United States as we approach the new year. Because if we were to move past um, this current snowstorm, which is, like I said, expected to bring a heavy amount of snowfall over the northern Midwest, we do see that on the backside, we should see fairly, uh, fairly strong north westerly flow which should bring the temperatures much colder than average um, as we approach a new year for much of the eastern half of the united states and as you know when we see a big jet stream dip like this over the eastern half that um that allows for more instability to exist right around the united states and we do and that also enhances the possibility of clipper systems moving through such as this one the gfs model wants to bring right around um this um january 3rd and moving forward with forecasts Eventually, in the very long-term future, the GFS model does want to bring a significant snowstorm to the more populated areas of the Midwest and Northeast, where we do see that Illinois gets involved with very heavy snowfall. This is probably right around um, 6 to 12 inches of snowfall in this scenario. Same goes for Indianapolis, um, Ohio as well, um, going into um, Cleveland. And then moving forward with forecasts, the GFS model also wants to bring heavy snowfall to the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast, where Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., Baltimore get pounded in a scenario like this. And I do believe that if this jet stream dip is significant enough, then that will certainly enhance the possibility of a major snowstorm happening in the northeast like we're seeing right here that's definitely going to allow a lot more low pressure systems to encounter enough cold air for a lot of storm events in the northeast to be considered snow events as well as the fact that it should enhance the instability for more snow events to occur um, once we approach the first or second week of january so let me keep tabs on that over the next several weeks as i'll certainly keep you guys updated if we see any developments with this pattern so make sure to stay tuned um, for more updates but anyways that's it for now guys and i thank you guys for watching make sure to like if you do enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe and comment um down below um in case you have any questions i'll make sure to answer them and i hope you guys all have a great day